Good morning from the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. This is Love My 419. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, surprise, surprise. My name is Andre Savage. Thank you for joining us. And joining me, as always, is the crew. Well, kind of. Half of it, Sandy Eisenberg here, ladies Two and gentlemen. Two-thirds of the crew. Good morning. And down there <laughs> on the end is the incomparable councilman himself. Mr. Nick Colmes is in the building. He switched chairs. He said he'd be back next week, and this is the week, but he switched chairs. So I like Nick, to mix it up a little bit, you know? Well, don't we know that? <laughs> <laughs> Steve read me out this week, too. That we still don't really have a complete explanation on, but nonetheless, we had to get somebody in the chair. And again, Bill Delaney will be back next week. I know everyone in the land is excited about that. So I'm just here. thrilled. <laughs> well, let's get into it, people. We got a great show for you today on the program. State Representative Teresa Fetter will be here, and yep. uh, we love that. And um, the concert series, Pro Medical. Yes, very cool for the summer. And we'll love it. Sandy knows no one on the roster. Eli, Eli Young Band. I do too. <laughs> Either way, she'll be there part in and up. It's going to be concert a series 2018. We'll talk about all of that, people. This is Love My 419. It's going to be a blast. Nick, Sandy, myself, stay tuned. Let's get it going. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Without them, there is no Love My 419. And without Love My 419, how do you know about all the wonderful people, places, businesses, and things that make up the 419? So stop into Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime, Monday through Saturday, and let them know how much you appreciate them, bringing you the quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. More love my 419 in a moment, but right now, uh, this is something too, yeah, this shocking for you. This is like, this is like a new team. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, We've had some fun today. Yeah, no, I, I, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great group. I think this yeah. is the dynamic, and this has got to be a pretty, pretty special. Yeah, and Man, I'm, I'm looking you know. forward to the uh, to seeing to seeing it live, or to seeing the, re <laughs> the replay on TV. Yeah. This is live. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or Sunday I'm morning uh, yeah. specials going exactly. on. I'm you are alive. alive. I am alive. <laughs> alive and well, living in Toledo. Living in my 419. Ayo. So living in the 419, Jaffe Jewelers is significant in terms of where to go when you need things that sparkle. I would say. It's, sparkle. It's, it's, we talked about you know, sparkle. We talked about diamonds. We were first for uh, April sparkle. Uh, last week. But um, I just we're just in the middle of some really, really cool things. I, I keep talking about our custom design because that's really what people know us for. And there are literally so many pieces right now that we're working on. Some of them are for individuals. We do you know, certainly most of the things we do are for specific individuals, but we've had the ability to build some cool things for, for our stock coming in and, and we try to build up as we had, had through the year so we can build them, some things up. Right. And it's so much fun because we're using all kinds of unusual colored gemstones. We talked about colored diamonds, but there's all the other gemstones. There's right. tourmalines. There's the various colors of sapphires. There's quartz. Uh, this is a different kind of sapphire. That's a that's a, what they call a uh, cabochon cut yes. sapphire. But that's a very hmm. cool ring. You Look at there. that. That's an old, old, old piece. Yes. I need to get a shot of that. I've seen that. Yeah, it's a very cool. Piece. I don't know if I like the band aid on <laughs> that. That probably that probably goes back that. to the 1920s. I At least. Yeah. But this is from cooking. No, you shouldn't cook. <laughs> That's right. Because no. this you, thing you is a yourself. week and a half old and it still you, has you a deal. Yourself. Stay out of the oven. Well, we're, 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 we're going to cook out of here. Right here, Mr. J. Thank you, Thank you for guys. always being here. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Jaffe, Hero Jaffe Jewels. Make sure you get in there, people, and see him. They 70 years the best. of being the best, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes, Beautiful. Representative Federer when we come back. Fire Cushion. Your promise. Your commitment, so magnificent, it will ignite her passion. Its unmatched beauty expresses the power of your love. The most perfectly cut, most gorgeous cushion diamond in all the world. Fire Cushion, exclusively at Harold Jaffe. And welcome back everyone to love my 419. Again, if you're looking at your television and saying to yourself, <laughs> what in the heck is happening? Yes, Bill's gone, so is Steve, Sandy's here, and we move on. Hot stuff in the 419, people? Yeah. Well, wait, works. so Nick, what do you have, Nick? <laughs> what do you have over here, buddy? Yeah, so look, uh, I think all of us know that we all love popcorn a whole yes. lot, and we talk about it on every show, I'm pretty sure. So, 
uh, Rachel Michaels Gourmet Popcorn. Stop into her store, uh, pop in over there, tell her that you love, uh, love my, my 419. Correct. And then you're going to get a free mini bag of popcorn. And it's very, very num num. Very tasty. <laughs> And People then ready in there all the time. Take it out of your teeth later. Yeah, yeah, every time really Rachel does something, difference. somebody peeking in the door, Take can I get my bag? <laughs> That's right. And, and, it, and it was school for Paso. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> all right, so like I said, hot stuff in the 419, people. Let me, hey, listen, this is actually a local and national store. Stuff. Sinclair Broadcasting, uh, really under fire, under siege, if you will, for being too right wing for executing the agenda through their news content. Now, this is a significant issue uh, because relatively soon here, they actually will, if I'm not mistaken, will probably be in about three out of every four households in the United States of America. A I'm Saint turning Claire them off station. at my house. <laughs> but we're on there. That's the twist. And that's why it's weird because we're I, actually on Sinclair. I think, you know, here's the thing. I think people expect their local news to be local and what they're getting is a message from somebody else. In the White being, House that's yeah. good friends with the guy that owns Sinclair and... That's what they say. It's like Sinclair Pravda too. <laughs> Keep that in mind, folks, when the Russians come. They're here. Oh, when you need Bill <laughs> Delaney. Like, Where's Bill Delaney Where's when Bill you need Delaney? him? Where is Bill? Bill? I need him on this show today <laughs> so that the brass is Sinclair won't think we're true. We don't know where to fall in. Obviously, it's a tough position for yeah. this show. But, I, but, but again. Um, keep it local. It, it, keep but it it's, local. It's, it's, it's people, true, you know. I mean, it's true. I mean, because they, they present a very, uh, um, Bias, you know, definitive you. case, you know, in terms of the examples. I can't deny that part. Again, NBC24, also a part of that. You know, with all due respect, again, many of you do not know this is an independent project, though. Now, again, we understand that we're on the network and a lot of people send emails sometimes. When you're upset at us, they know. They like to tell us that. They never tell us about the good ratings and how many of you are <laughs> loyal to us and sticking with us. We never hear that. That's right. But, again... Sinclair Station, NBC24, Big Riff, uh, you know, I, I don't know. What, how should the people really feel about that? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how uh, Hitler came to power in Germany because what the Germans did. Under, he convinced them it was fake news. Before <laughs> Da knew what fake news was. Yeah, meant. I'm just saying, it's a, it's a strange correlation. <laughs> fake news before saying. fake news. Right. No, I, but I think people should be leery Listen, about take, who's communicating to them, right. how it's coming to them, right. but where it's know, coming from. But, you know, you take away the opportunity for freedom of press, for freedom of expression, and then pretty soon you have automatons just paying attention to what the government wants you to think and do mm. and say. And, and that's very dangerous for the United States, and if you don't think so... Look back in your history because we're bound to repeat it. Especially in the climate of things now, it looks like the trajectory is really, really as Sandy suggests. But let's let's move on. More things happening in the 419. Uh, First Energy filed for bankruptcy yeah. this last week. I mean, that's pretty I good. have friends that work there. I feel badly for them. They work out of Davis Bessie. I feel huh? badly for them. I mean, I, I grew up in. Does that mean they're not going to send me a bill? <laughs> The bill's coming. The bill will be on time. You know, you should have seen my bill last month. Two hundred and forty-eight dollars. I almost flipped. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you? How many things do you have plugged into your house? I don't know. I didn't have that many because I unplug what I don't use anymore. Hmm. That is the name. I suppose. And Nick, and what were you going to say, Nick? Uh, yeah, before I really interrupted <laughs> yeah. you. Not you then. It's better. I'd rather listen to Sandy than me. It's fine. Got you, got you. <laughs> well, well, we know, again, bankruptcy first, energy, uh, that's tough. Hate to hear that. Uh, again, uh, this is what you also hate to hear. Monroe Street Construction has started a couple weeks ago, and then we got opening day coming. We're going to talk about yeah, that pretty soon, right. but opening day is coming, Sandy. I know that's your Third, Yep, it's uh, one of my babies, Fifth Third Field, with Bill Copeland and Harry Barlos, and we put that together, which has done beautifully, and we just love it. But the b big deal is opening day. They couldn't wait another week or so to start this mess. Right. I, I mean, really, who designs this and who <laughs> puts the time frame in? How dumb. I hope people aren't looking at me right now. I have nothing to do with that decision. Yeah, that's but. right. It's a state issue. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a real pain. It is. And opening day is going to be a mess. So if you're going to opening day, Good luck. Start Go hour, early. two hours early. You know you're going to be drinking the whole time anyway. That's so right. So get better your butt down there at 10 a.m. Treat it right. like St. Patrick's Day. That's right. Or better yet, take the bus. Or that. We'll take the bus to this break. 
and we thank you for being with us. This is Love My 409. We'll be back. Our guest will be in here, Miss Teresa Fetter, state representative. You know her. So we will be back in a moment. Stay there, 419. Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. Welcome back to Love My 419, everyone. Again, please do not adjust your set. <laughs> I am Andre Savage. I'm not Bill Delaney. I'm not sure where I come down on Mr. Trump, but again, we're here today, and we thank you for being with us. What do you Along mean you don't me, know where you come down on well, Trump? Sandy Eisenberg, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nick Comives, councilman, they're here joining me. Nick, what do you have before I answer Sandy's question? All right, all right, let's get, <laughs> let's get this out of the way. So last week, you might have heard that you can get a free car wash, and that is not <laughs> true. Yeah, but you can get a free exterior home power Your wash. Home! home. Emphasis on this guy paints homes, not right. cars. So he'll he'll power wash the exterior of your home if you contact them today for more information and book a quote with 360 painting. All yes. right, so you can call and get your quote all set up 419-360-9121. All right, good. there you go, Randy. We're sorry. Randy actually came into the studio this week because he did not he really didn't like it. He no. enjoyed it. I don't think he liked it, though, because he didn't want to get his power washer out for somebody's well, automobile. Well, I was so surprised because I thought, what, he's going to wash the cars yeah, yeah, we, we didn't know. We didn't know if he changed oh, services don't, up. Don't. We, don't, we, don't, we don't ask a lot of questions here at 419. We just get the job done. <laughs> yeah. Say what you want to say. Sponsors, beware. You want a message out there. Make sure you quote it specifically. All right. Love My 419 is brought to you in part by 360 Painting, the residential and commercial painting experts. Contact them today for more information or to book a quote. Please call 419-360-9121. Nationwide Auto Finance wants to thank you. We are moving tons of vehicles and always restocking our inventory. Come see our cars, trucks, and SUVs. Models as new as 2016 and models as low as 20,000. Bring us your trade in. Drag it, push it, pull it. We don't care how you get it here. We need your old vehicle and you need a new one. For 20 years we've been your buy here, pay here dealer and we still are. Planners are waiting to approve you. Bring us your trade in. Bring us your valid license, latest pay stub and down payment and we will get you in a vehicle at Nationwide Auto Finance. Welcome back to Love My 419. I will introduce our lovely guest here in a moment. I am Andre Savage, in for the great Bill Delaney, and I know you all miss him so much. But joining me again, Miss Sandy Eisenberg, and of uh -huh. course, Councilman Nick Comives is here, in for Steve Remy. Thank you all. And um, again, Nick, what's going on? A lot of times people don't catch us. We're on early in the morning, man. What on earth should they do? I don't catch it when it's on that early in the morning. So <laughs> I, I watch it on the Love My 419 app, and you can download that in the Apple Play Store or on Google Play. Right. Uh, download the app. Then you can watch all the fun behind-the-scenes stuff, like when Sandy cusses, and you don't get to see it on TV, because that yes. happens. And, and she does Only occasionally. <laughs> Yes. yes. But all the bloopers, all the fun stuff, some yeah. good deals, all we that good stuff is good on stuff. the app. So check it out. Yes. So. And now we have. That's right. It's better with Fetter. That's right. <laughs> of the 45th district, ladies and gentlemen, our House of Representatives, she is here and, and gracing us with her presence today. Yeah. As, as she mentioned again, Ms. Teresa Fetter, thank you so much for being here. Well, Andre, it's a pleasure to be here. And to be on 419 with such famous people. I don't know. <laughs> and, um, Inf or infamous. Infamous. Rock stars, absolutely. <laughs> and, um, you know, I love the fact that we get to talk local politics, local yes. things that are going on. Um, you know, that's what people care about. Right. What's happening in their lives every day. Um, you know, Sandy's been such a great supporter in, you know, what I ran 18 years ago. No one could pronounce my name. And she came up with the phrase, Fetter. Fetter is better. Remember that. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I even had Just a button so made. Right. She's got some creative yeah. ideas in there. Yeah. So yeah. my Wonder buttons too. were made, and the <laughs> right. rest is history. That's right. She's, she's, she's pretending my like pleasure. she didn't know you were going to say that. She was talking about the check that she didn't get for giving you that. That's, <laughs> yeah, what, that's, that's right, what you didn't right, know. Check right. in the mail, babe. Oh, <laughs> Democrats know that. Don't yeah. Don't you know, call me, I'll call you. <laughs> well, speaking of checks and balances, though, obviously you're a very strong proponent. Again, it's no secret. Uh, you, you know, you're, you're very um, aggressive and, and assertive in certain areas, especially uh, with, with human trafficking. We said that before we got on camera, and obviously that's a very, very uh, hot-button issue, especially in this area. Right. And, uh, you know, again, but you, you've been very strong in the fight in, in that situation. And, and, again, for those who may not be aware of that, speak to that a little bit. Well, Andre, 12 years ago, 
um, above the fold in the blade, we saw a shocking um, event happen to Toledoans when we had the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania bust, precious cargo bust around America. FBI agents kept running into victims from, tra from Toledo. So when they did this bust in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, um, you know, 17 of the 18 pimps were from Toledo. Wow. And, you know, 100, 140 some people rescued. Um, wow. You know, 45. Scary. Okay you know, women and children, even one as young as 10 years old. So Dr. Celia Williamson put a meeting together, and there were like 200 people in the room, probably within five days. And I sat there and thought, you know, I'm a senator, I'm a lawmaker, there must be a law that, you know, we could put together for the state of Ohio and protect and prevent this from happening. And boy, 12 years later, that journey, um, has Long, become tough a, one. yeah it has become a vocation for me, if you will, and um, it took six years to get the first law off the ground, because mm -hmm. I heard from my colleagues, boys will be boys, um, it's a rite of passage, it's just a Toledo problem, so I thought to myself as a teacher, how do I get something to happen here, so when I found cases around Ohio, I contacted people within, you know, their local. Um, area and they advocated and educated their politicians, and, and the state reps, the state senators, and lo and behold, nearly every county within six years had a case of human trafficking. Wow! And so the it was a grassroots effort and a movement where it happened from people who were shocked into action, and that's kind of how it all started and the parameters set in place and. You know, after a while, when they saw that this was really happening in their hometown, they believed it, and things started happening. So, put forward a structure. Um, I've been working on this 10 years, and this is my vision of how Ohio can prevent and protect this to happening mm -hmm. in the most vulnerable citizens. Are the youngest. Mm -hmm. And I mean, real, real yeah. quick, Sandy, and, and before you ask your question, I, I wanted to know too, and follow up to that, like what, what do you say to to a family, or is there any way to warn someone? Like, what what do you look for, and, and how? Is, is a young lady, you know, sort of uh, enticed into this, though? You know, especially when you know it's out there, so just like anything else, but how is it happening so often still? Well, the fastest growing population um, right now are men. So it isn't just a female problem. It's a vulnerability problem. And you take, you, you really address it from making sure you're not as vulnerable. And when you look at how things are happening now with the Internet and social media, Pretty people scary. need to be educated. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to really not let our children and the most vulnerable not know what can happen. So it's always about education and advocacy all the time. Right. No and secrets. And talking to your kids. No secrets. And, you know, um, everyone being aware. Everyone in society. Knowing and being aware of their yeah. surroundings when they're out, mm -hmm. even in groups. Yeah. Right. And protecting one another and preventing this from happening. Right. That, that's the guardrail. Be your brother's keeper. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Or your sister's, sister's keeper. There you go. You know, we're finding that Warren, Ohio, has the highest number of advertisers all over the United States to come and use their spa and their parlors. Really? Exactly. So we've learned so much by just taking a look at this crime and the victims if wow. they're willing and able they they're telling what's happening and then we have strong prosecution and that's where i come in and working with law enforcement and the people are boots on the ground i don't do legislation unless people who are the experts are fashioning it right well some leaders came by and guess what we are going to have some hearings here and the children are going to Speak. testify. Good. Awesome. They're driving the advocacy to protect their own generation and for generations beyond. So that's our weakness in Ohio. We don't protect 16 and 17 year olds. So right now that's what I'm working on. Okay. Well, and when you talk about the, the quarters, you've also got 75 and 475 big drug, mm -hmm. drug runs. I mean, to, they go hand in hand. The yeah. opioid crisis is fueling human yes, trafficking. Right. Um, interesting things are happening. More and more people who are hooked on these opioids are selling their children. 
to get money for more exactly. opioids. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, so pretty it's, scary. It's really every everyone's duty to become educated and advocated and, and work toward lessening vulnerabilities. Right. You look at the coroner's list every Saturday. Mm -hmm. I counted them so this sad. past weekend. They're 22. So sad. Incredible. And not and not just teenagers. Older folks right. too. Right. O D. Mm -hmm. Pretty scary, mm -hmm. but you've done a really great job because mm -hmm. you've certainly brought that issue to the forefront. I'm passionate about it. I, I know. have grandchildren. I have grandchildren, yeah. and I don't want my five-year-old grandson to have to deal with this type and of. And I don't want my three grand, uh, and I don't want my three granddaughters having to be whisked away someplace to mm -hmm. some awful country in the Middle East, Far East, or someplace. Grandchildren, you ladies. I mean, Grandson, you were you you're 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 such a charmer. You're okay. such a charmer. <laughs> we started. Oh. We were very young. Oh my! <laughs> well, again, Representative, we, we thank, thank you so you. much for my coming in and speaking great. with us my today, pleasure. and uh, we, we hope you'll come back. I will. Yes. And, and, and again, one thing too, we definitely want to thank you for, for your military service too. I mean, thank you so yes. much for that as well. And was a hell of a teacher. See, yeah, I did say that bad word on television. Is that allowed? Kind of you can work. get that on the app. <laughs> 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 Teresa Penner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Love My 409. You never know who will pop up here, and it's always presidential, though, somehow. <laughs> Even when Bill's here. But we'll be right back in a moment to get on with the rest of this nonsense. Stay tuned. Bill was here? Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. Welcome back to Love My Forward Night. Thank you for staying with us. I am Andre Savage, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, Bill Delaney is still out. This is last week on vacation, so we should all rejoice at Mr. Uh, Donald Delaney. He'll be back next week. I know you're excited. <laughs> this is Sandy Eisenberg, ladies and gentlemen. And there on the end is Councilman Nick Comives in here today for Steve Remy. And that's a tall order to do, but Nick has filled in very admirably today. Well, yeah, thank you, sir, for being that. here. Yeah, I enjoy being here. What do you have over there? Let's make some money, Nick. All right, let's make some money. It's tax season, in case you forgot, and you oh, should file I your taxes. I didn't forget. I Real haven't filed in. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even up. started. Listen, wow. Fans, they are not playing. Hey, listen, sure. the Fed's quote unquote, made one of those infamous phone calls to me the other day. I'm sorry I didn't answer because I was going to say, can I ask my supervisor to talk to you? I'm with the FBI. I was going to say, you are, you, you, you're the mob. Though. Call the feds. You're fine. Yeah, you could do it. Anyways, What's going on? What's happening should, in once, Nationwide? Once you, once you take your, uh, once you do your taxes, yes. then you should call Nationwide and get yourself a new car. Yep. If you want caddy. To. Get a new Look one. at that face. Anyways, point is, if you go to Nationwide Auto Finance <laughs> and you take care of your tax return and get a car, you can get a 60-day warranty with any purchase, uh, except it's limited to some cars. you got to tell them that you're there for Love My 419, and they're going to tell you which That's cars right. are That's right. applicable. Al's got some special offers for you. Check that out. Get in there, though. But again, get that 60-day warranty. They have oodles I love and oodles and oodles. Acres of fabulous cars. That's Beautiful cars. That's Yiddish for lots of cars. That's no right. use the whole <laughs> nine. You get, yeah, drag them in, trade in, do all of that. Ladies I've been learning all this. is not Yiddish. Uh, you've been teaching me so much lately. I, I thought it was. Okay. All right. This has, been, this has been a heavy <laughs> morning. This has been a heavy morning. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Okay. You know, these are the stories you need to know. The 419 stories you need to know. Do oh, I need to know him too? I like that voice though. <laughs> I've always, been, always wanted to ask you, who does that voice over what? there? You need to know! Who you! On steroids. Right. <laughs> Mudhead! <laughs> Opening day is this week, Sandy. This is your oh, thing. This is your time. Oh, this is your time, Sandy. Thursday. I love my mud hands. Thursday and Friday of this week. God love them. Four o'clock on Thursday. I believe right. it's six o'clock on Friday. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Great opening day. Pray for good weather. I remember when we opened it and they had to throw out one of the first base bus. Right. It was like 28 degrees. It was <laughs> so cold. Oh, wait, quick, quick reminder. It's Ohio. Park down at the art museum and just walk on over. <laughs> Anything else, you're not getting in That's close. That's right. That's what because we said earlier. they're fixing Monroe Street and Summit Street and Jackson Street. And hey, hey, hey. What does everybody yell about? Our streets are terrible. Now we're fixing all the streets, and now everybody's going to complain about it. But the city's it. not fixing them. It's the state of Ohio. <laughs> yeah, Councilman, Councilman just gave you the updates, and he told you we are on it. All right, let's move on. ProMedica has announced the summer concert series. We love this. Well, except for you don't know anybody who's coming. I know Eli Young Band. You don't know George, George Thorogood? No. Casey and the Sunshine Band? No. None of these people. No. SWV? Right. No. Special Ed? No. Oh, man. 
special ed. OAR. Isn't that special education? <laughs> He's a rap guy. Oh. Not no, in this 1989, case. he hit the scene. Do I know from rap? You know everything from 1812. That may be so, but I don't know from rap. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, well, but either they, way, I, I guarantee you, you'll see Sandy down there partying. The and, absolutely, absolutely. Drink <laughs> in hand. But real quick, everybody, run it down. George Thorogood, June 29th. Jim Blossoms, July 13th. 90s hip hop and R&B uh, concert there. SWV, Kwame, Special Ed, Moni Love, Chubb Rock, and Dana Day. Now. I know nobody in this audience knows who the heck I'm talking about, but again, that's going to be a good show July 27th. Casey and the Sunshine Band, as Nick mentioned, uh, is on August 10th. It's the day and, after my birthday. Um, yeah, and a quick note, getting out of here on You Need to Know, Kaylin Cole. Sylvania woman went to Northview High School, a part yep. of the Notre Dame Lady yep. Irish and National Champions. Daughter of Ken and Kelly Cole. All right. Hey. Congratulations to her. And, and real quick on the men's side, Terry Weimer of North Baltimore. Weimer. He officiated. Weimer. He officiated in the National Championship game for the men. Graduated uh, 1977 from North Baltimore High in Finley and uh, University of Finley in 1982. So we're excited about those people. You needed to know. You needed to know, everyone. I'm still recuperating from. Monday night. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a, well, you, it, it gets well, like that. I it gets like that at this point. Michigan. I mean, sure. You know, who's <laughs> it? Nobody cares here. No, it's true. We'll be right back. This is not my fault. <laughs> Love my four one nine. Brought to you in part by. Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. All right, 419, welcome in one final time, and it is time to get out of here. Thank you for joining us all morning. Again, I have been Andre Savage. That's Sandy Eisenberg, and that is Nick Cole Mives over there on the end for the great Steve Remy. Oh, and by the way, again, I'm in for uh, Donald Delaney, or excuse me, Bill Trump, or whatever, that guy. Oh, what's his name? He'll be back next week. He'll Aren't be back excited? next week. I'm delighted. But I haven't said anything too negative about... El Presidente, El Dictator in the White House. <laughs> uh, we don't need to, Sandy. There's nothing we can add. We hit on There's it a little bit. Add. I know, but it just gives me angina. And it's rough. So you know everything on Sinclair is not all the way right wing. But we, we are somewhere in the middle, and we, and we like that. But we thank you all for being with us as always. Again, relax, everybody. Everything is not that Enjoy serious. Enjoy your day. Yes, please. Uh, you know, and, and be nice to each other. Please just be kind. Does right. anybody have any quick yeah. final thoughts? Because we got to go real against no time. Final Patrick's thoughts. Upset. I've filed my thoughts. Filed your thoughts? Filed them and they're somewhere out there. Someplace. On some cloud. Mine is, there's a lot of fun stuff this month, I think. You have 419 days coming up. Uh, the mix is coming up. You've yep. got the opera. Mud, Mud Hens opening. Was this weekend. It's still airing today. There's a lot of good yeah. Mud, Mud Hens, there's a lot of good stuff in the air yeah. right now. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, it's always jumping into 419. Don't lie to yourself. This is the best place to live in the <laughs> in the world. So there it is. There you go. And my final thought is the fact that I can't believe I'm sitting here right now because this I is not either. the way it's supposed to go. But we'll see you next week, nonetheless. Thank you for being here. For Nick, for Sandy, I'm Andre. See you next week, everybody.